Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about the binomial distribution, in particular about calculating the mean and the variance. As shown in the syllabus. The formulas for the mean and variance of a binomial distribution are given on page 9 of your formula book which you can see here. So remember that the mean is an average. It's a measure of location or a center of the distribution. And standard deviation is a measure of the spread of the distribution. The mean of a distribution is also called the expected value. And the variance, remember, is the standard deviation squared. For a binomial distribution, we can calculate the mean or the expected value, notated E of x, by just multiplying the number of trials by the probability. Remember also that E of x is sometimes called mu. As I said, this formula is given in the formula booklet and it only works for a binomial distribution. If we consider spinning the spinner shown three times and define x to be the number of blue outcomes in those three spins, then x is a binomial random variable where n is equal to 3 for the three trials and the probability of success for each trial is 3 quarters, shown in the diagram. So x can take on the values 0, 1, 2 and 3 and the probability distribution is shown in the table. So we can calculate the mean or the expected value simply by multiplying n, the number of trials, by p, the probability of success, and the result is equal to 2.25. That's the same result you would have got if you used the formula for um, of any uh, probability distribution, the sum of x times p of x. You can see the calculations here taken from the distribution and that also gives of course the same value of 2.25. Similarly you could have calculated that value on your calculator. I'll just remind you how to do that now. So from the menu if you press option 2 for statistics and we need to clear the lists so press F6 <coughs> followed by F4 delete all and F1 to confirm the deletion of that list and scroll across and repeat the process F4 and F1 to confirm. And then we can put in the probability distribution. So x can take on the values 0, 1, 2, and 3. The probabilities are 1, 64, 9, 64, and 27, 66, as shown. And then if we press F6 twice to get back to the main menu, followed by F2 for a calculation. And then just check on your calculator it's set up to re read the data from the two lists by pressing F6. Check that the frequencies, or in our case the probabilities, are in list Two. If they are, then we can press F1 and do a one variable calculation and you can see that the mean value is given, 2.25. But of course as shown for a binomial distribution we can simply just multiply n by p. The formula for calculating the variance <coughs> for a binomial distribution, but the variance is called var x is found by multiplying n by p by 1 minus p. So again, n is the number of trials and p is the probability of success. And remember also that the variance is the standard deviation squared. So once we have variance, we can then calculate the standard deviation. 
So in the example, we can calculate the variance by multiplying n by p by 1 minus p. In other words, 3 for n multiplied by p 3 quarters multiplied by 1 minus 3 quarters. And the variance is equal to 0 0.5625. And then to find the standard deviation, we will need to square root the variance. Okay, so as shown here, the variance was 5, 0 0.5625. So if we square root that, we get 0 0.75. And you can see also that the standard deviation is shown on the calculator as well, 0 0.56, sorry, 0 0.75. So in this question, x is the number of questions answered correctly, and we're asked in part A to find the mean of x. So there are 20 questions, so the number of trials is 20, and each question has five equally likely answers, or equal. so the probability of success there will be 1 in 5, and n is 20. So define x to be the number of questions answered correctly, and x can take on any value from 0 correct to 20 correct, and x follows a binomial distribution with parameters 20 and 0 0.2. So since x is a binomial random variable, we can use the formula to work out the mean value. So multiplying n, which is 20, by p, which is 0 0.2, results in a mean value of 4. So on average, we expect Dima to guess 4 questions correct. In part b, we're asked to find the standard deviation. So we first need to find the variance. So again, we simply use the formula. So the calculation is n times p times 1 minus p. So in this case, it's 20 times 0 0.2 times 1 minus 0 0.2. And that gives a variance of 3.2 questions answered correctly. So the standard deviation is equal to the square root of 3.2. And that's equal to 1.79. In this last question, a fair die is rolled 12 times, and x is the number of sixes that we roll. We're asked to find the mean and the variance and the standard deviation of x. So if we start by defining x. So x is the number of sixes rolled. So since each roll is independent of the previous one, and we're only interested in whether we get or don't get a six, x is a binomial random variable. And n is equal to 12, because it's rolled 12 times, and the probability of getting a 6 on a die, well, that's equal to 1 6. So x can take on any values from 0 to 12, and x follows a binomial distribution with parameters 12 and 1 6. To find the mean of x, again, we just use the formula. So n times p is 12 times 1 6, so the mean of x is equal to 2. To find the variance of x, we use the formula. So n times p times 1 minus p is 12 times 1 6 times 1 minus 1 6, and that's equal to 5 thirds, or 1.33. And finally, to find the standard deviation of x, remember the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So the standard deviation is equal to the square root of 5 thirds, and that's equal to 1.29. So we expect a 6 to be rolled 2 times on average, with a variance of 1.33 and a standard deviation of 1.29.